If you are a professional bed rotter, this video is for you. I actually tried filming this video like a few hours ago, but I was just not feeling it. I was like, why? What is going on? What is going on? So I was like, you know what? I need to set the vibe. This is a space for professional bed rotters. I need to look the part. So I got sweatshirt, sweatpants. We're comfy. We're in our bed. We're in our natural habitat. And we're going to be talking about the best TV shows to watch. I'm a huge lover of like everything television. I love a good show to binge watch. I love sitting in my bed and contributing nothing to society. I love a good show to binge watch. So I was like, why not share my favorite shows I love watching? Whenever people ask me, like, oh, what show should I watch? Like, I don't really know what to watch. There's nothing good. These are the shows that I always bring up and I want to, I compiled a list. It isn't a long list, but it's a list. Before I get into it, a lot of these shows are on the older side from the early 2000s so you definitely probably have heard of these regardless of whether you've heard of it or not these are just shows i highly recommend if you haven't watched it i cannot like things normally i become so heavily obsessed and just attached to characters and storylines that i can never move on to a new show whenever i finish so there's so many iconic shows that i haven't watched yet not because I'm lazy or I don't want to, but it's simply because I get so attached to previous shows that I've watched that I cannot get into new ones. You, there's a show that you really like that's not on this list. I probably either I've watched it, but I just didn't include it here, or I just haven't watched it because I'm so attached to, to these ones that I have. But let's just get into it. So the first one I have is Desperate Housewives. I actually just finished this show recently. Shockingly, my brother is actually the one who recommended the show to me. This is an older show, so the fact that I haven't watched it and it's been out since like 2004 is kind of sad. So this show is about four women who live in this neighborhood and it's a very community-oriented neighborhood. It's about four wives. We kind of just witness their lives and watch their lives as housewives. So there's lots of drama there's mystery each season has their own kind of mystery so there's always murders going on there's lots of drama lots of affairs that happen a huge part of the storyline is about one housewife who died in the neighborhood and her name is mary alice and we kind of see them trying to solve that mystery and how she died and um why she died but it's very funny there's a lot of humor in it but there's also a lot of drama and seriousness so if you like that this will be a really good show for you it has eight seasons currently i think i finished it in a month or two i don't remember but um, I finished it pretty quickly and it's a very good show to binge watch. Pretty sure you can watch it free on Amazon Prime or you can watch it on Hulu. I actually watched it on If You Know You Know. So another show I recommend severely is called Bates Motel. This show, I don't really hear many people talk about it. It was on Netflix, but they actually took it off, so I'm not really sure where you can watch it, but you can figure that out on your own. But this show has five seasons currently, and it's basically about a mother and her son move to this new area to start over their life, and they open this business called Bates Motel. And throughout the series, we just kind of see their relationship evolve, and they kind of have this weird obsession. They kind of have this weird relationship with each other. His relationship with his mother grows into a weird way that you kind of see in the show. It's like kind of like a psychological horror thriller type of show. So if you're into that. Now the next show I recommend is called Ugly Betty, another older show. It stars America Ferreira and she plays Betty. And Betty is this not conventionally attractive girl who wants to one day own her own magazine so she starts to work at mode magazine which is a fashion magazine and the entire series we basically see her try to navigate a fashion model magazine world being an unattractive person and i'm using air quotes because she isn't really unattractive she just didn't fit the beauty standards of like the fashion world and you kind of see her navigate that and a huge reason why I love this series is because I genuinely think it was ahead of its time. It was released 2007, I'm pretty sure. And the topics that it touched on, it touched a lot on like beauty standards and like LGBTQ and like so many things that I'm like, you wouldn't think 
that two in the 2000s they would talk about it but i think that show was ahead of its time it's so good it has humor here and there drama here and there like it was a really good show overall four seasons and it actually got left on a cliffhanger because it got canceled season four which i'm kind of mad about the last episode isn't too bad of a cliffhanger like you don't really know what happens next but they give you enough information to kind of make your own ending so i guess their cliffhanger is all right but it's like that it's just upsetting that like it got canceled this one is a very very popular show that everybody knows everybody talks about and everybody recommends but it is a good show and it's Grey's anatomy oh my god i had an obsession with this show i'm telling you hold on disclaimer Grey's anatomy is only good from seasons one to eight maybe 10 but that even that is pushing it some people are like oh my god Grey's Anatomy has like 20 30 seasons who's watching that if a show doesn't have that many seasons what's the point I don't even think I have to go into detail with like what the show is about but it's such a good show and I highly recommend it like I don't care how overly recommended this show is I genuinely think that everyone should try watching the show it's so good even if you haven't watched it I'm pretty sure you know what it's about like doctors drama cheating that's not good but like cheating i actually re-watched that show far too many times like you don't want to know how many times i've re-watched oh so good though another show i highly recommend is shameless it's on the more like it has a lot of like risky nudity like scenes so you might not want to watch this on the big screen in your living room this is a very type of like laptop computer type of show this is a very phone in your room by yourself type of show volume on low but like it's so good it's just about a family in chicago a low-income family in chicago that's basically what it's about but it sounds like the way i described it sounds so boring but it's just like so good the last show i have on my list is called alice in borderland this is one of my all-time favorite shows like I only watched this recently, not even recently, I think last year. And this show is so good. Alice in Borderland is about three friends who live in Japan. They basically randomly get sent to this place where they have to compete in competitive games or else they die. So the entire series, you're just trying to figure out how they got there, where this place is, and you watch them compete in these games. Best way to describe it is it's almost like Squid Game. The one thing that really sticks out in the show is the ending. This show will have you rethinking life. The ending will be something that you never really thought of, expected. This show has two seasons, but they actually got renewed for a third season recently, and I'm so excited. The way season two ended wasn't bad, but there was a little bit of a cliffhanger it could have ended where it did if if the show ended at season two i would have been fine but the fact that the, it's, there's a season three coming oh my god i'm so excited those are all the shows that i have right now there's definitely more shows that i've watched that i genuinely think are good but these are the main shows that i always recommend to people and if you want to rot in bed these are the shows for you this was actually a hard video to film because i was like oh my god is it boring like what if nobody wants to watch <laughs> nobody wants to watch <laughs> like it's so boring but i don't care because there's gonna be somebody out there who wants to watch these shows so that's it okay bye